Okay, so we made it back to the truck, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I couldn't film, my camera was muddy, but I came across, you see where all the stumps are, way out there? I came across five hunters. I think they were poaching, and they told me I can't pass. This is a state park, you can hike anywhere around it. The geese were to the west, I was going towards that mountains. And they were like, you can't pass. So it means they were doing, must have been doing something illegal. The guy got up in my face and then he turned around. Oh, I can see in your eyes. I'm wearing sunglasses. How do you see my eyes? How do you know if I'm high or not? I'm sitting out here hiking and friggin' some of the lake is some parts you sink in up to your waist. Other parts are dry for hundreds and hundreds of feet. And these guys are hiking and the geese are to the west they could sit there and shoot them instead they all five got to run up to me and point guns and gang up on me i said i said i'm passing shoot me if you want real hikers hike up in the sierras or off road to ghost towns and these backcountry roads these guys are out here hunting geese probably illegally it takes five of them to subdue me five of them you know with guns and I told him I'm passing, I'm going around the corner. Oh, you got five minutes, you better hurry. I'm like, or what? What are you going to do to me? I'm not going to have people telling hikers where they can hike and can't hike just because they want to catch some geese. There's geese all over these little waterways. They can find some geese to hunt, I'm sure, throughout the day. I'm not pissing on their parade just because I want to pass and cross over to the other side. Bullshit. I smell bullshit and I call bullshit. The Indians came to Honey Lake smith station on the carson river a place known as big ben in 1862 men known as william boys were keeping a station or trading post there at the time there was quite a number of paiutes accompanied by their wives and squaws and the williams boys took the squaws in their house and they ravaged them that's what i was telling you earlier the act greatly increased the tension between the indians there is also a theory that some murdered the boys, robbed them, and to conceal their crime, burned the house together. And that's part of the theory as to why the war may have started. In 1881 in the fall, William Gefford shot and killed an offensive old Irishman who was helping Honey Lake Smith Station. And he wasn't even arrested for the killing. So there's a lot of murder and tragedy here. So when I came here, I did a lot of EVPs and such because I wanted to see if I could pick up anything ghostly because it has a lot of tragic history here murder and burning and indian raids and so you can understand it's all out there in the middle of the lake i seen one foundation a few fence posts but nothing more and i could have missed it there's some spots you step up to your waist and i'm gonna pay for it you know i had to take off my pants look at that i am muddy even underneath no, no, there's no glory in what we do, okay? But this is a historic site, and I would love, I always said when I moved here, I would love to go to Williams Station if the lake was low enough and bring you guys the story about how the Paiute Indian Wars between the white men, early settlers, and the Paiutes had started, and whether the gamblers did it that lost coin at Williams Station or the Smith Station or whether the Indians came and, and burnt down the house and murdered the men due to having their squaws ravished and raped. We will never know. We will never know the true story. This could have been purposely done to spark a war. Just a couple miles from here is the Camel Range and Fort Churchill. And it really never seemed much active duty. But men did die on both sides. Indians and, and these soldiers. And Fort Churchill is one of the first military bases in the United States technically at least out west one of the more major forts and outposts so you have to understand that you know this is wild western history and it all took place right here at ancient lake lahatan or at least what's left of it right anyways this is lord rick our next area is a thompson smelter we're going to find a water spigot we're going to wash her shoes up and we're just going to go on our way and forget like this never happened on with the show on with the show this is lord rick